Okay, so now I want to show you publishing services. So I'm going to take the photo that I just worked on in the development module. I'm going to go back to the library module and publishing services are right here. And what it is is basically a tool that allows you to sync up your catalogs, your photos, not your videos, but photos with online services like Flickr or Facebook or Picasa. Flickr came with the, the software as it is. Facebook and Picasa, those are downloadable for free off the internet. Um, the Flickr one, so I'm going to show you how to obviously do the publishing, but also do normal exporting as well. I'll just, I've already have it set up, but I'm going to the Flickr um, module and you, you log into your account here. You have to certify it with the website. I've already done that and uh, you go through this dialog here. You have the ability to now limit your file size to a certain amount, which you had not had the ability to do that in the past. Um, really like that. Certain websites cap the file size upload amount, so you can control that here. For Flickr, for what I'm doing here, I'm just gonna cap it by 1200 pixels. On the long edge, sharp it on the screen a low amount and a new feature here is that you have the ability to add your own watermarks finally this is the one thing I've been wanting since the program came out if you manage a huge amount of photos uh, not all of which you want to work on in Photoshop uh, you want to but you want to share them you need to protect them online so stamp your photos with your logo or your name or copyright or something and to do that for a high volume is real hard manually so having a tool like this to do that for you is great you can customize what you want to do here you can use a graphic you can use a JPEG you can write your in your own text here um, very very handy you can change the font the style uh, color opacity very handy so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm going to make the picture public I'll make the safety moderate on this one um, it asked me do I want to republish all my photos because my Flickr settings changed um, no I'm gonna leave it as is but I am now gonna publish the single photo so I'm gonna drag it over to my Flickr photo stream and I click on the photo stream and you can see that I already have two published out there from this catalog and this one needs to be published so I'm going to go over and hit the publish button okay now it is uploading to my photo stream updating photo stream as well and up and up to uploading that picture so not only is it uploading this one it's also syncing up the photos that I have already published and what that means is it's downloading comments, uh, favorites, other, other activity around these previously published photos. So I'll just show you that real fast. This one was already up there and it already has a comment, very nice as always, etc. Favorited number one. Um, so that's kind of neat. You can look in your uh, Lightroom sources to see what your photos are doing on Flickr. So I'll go back and just double check on Flickr that it uh, it uploaded correctly. So I will refresh and yes it did upload correctly and I'll just double click on that. I could have changed the title here. I don't really like those camera titles. And it pulled in my tags as well. I think I needed some com comments between those words but uh, I can change that later and pulled in some of my metadata the camera that I'm using so uh, very very nice on that I can look at the bigger picture very nice okay so that's the publishing services and that that's about all I can I really in, in, am enjoying or using the most of for the new Lightroom 3 features uh, so far, um, again, I think it's very much worth the upgrade, um, especially if you're coming from version one or one one and a half. Um, 
some other features that are included um, are that it just generally the uh, tool, the software seems faster than it was, more more uh, uh, stable going through a series of images. So that's that's certainly good. Um, you have the ability to export a slideshow as a video file along with music. Nice to have, I guess, but for me, I don't I don't use that. Maybe I sh I should, but I guess if you're like a wedding photographer or something like that, I c I could see that being a handy feature. Um, another nice feature that. Um, sounds good that I have not used yet is the tethering feature. So you attach your camera and you can shoot uh, with your camera going directly to Lightroom. Have not used it yet but I could see that could be handy if you don't mind being tied to your camera and your computer. So uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, again very much recommend the tool um, if you like these types of videos, let me know. I'll do more of them. Thanks, everyone.